This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Good morning and happy Friday! Good morning, Melbourne. Sorry, sorry, that was that was really rude of me to do that in front of Clint's face. It's a grand old place. Oh, Sing here it, we Queen. Go. High flying flag. Come on. It's the emblem for me and for you. That, that in Honestly. Our, on my social media this morning, I posted a video of oh, you, you singing posted. that song after the siren, and there was oh. much more enthusiasm the last night. It's a grand old time. <laughs> if flying, you look at the video, flag. it's very funny because he's just. Just dancing away and behind oh, by him, myself. Oh. by himself, behind him, Andrew Dillon, who's the new CEO of the oh, AFL, yes. is like trying to get his attention. <laughs> Clint's just swinging his scarf oh, around. It was a great night. Now, question. question. I gave you a serve to us, and no one likes uh, w- like a whingy winner. Well, that's because Have you a bit lost of class. on the punt. Jace goes, be a good winner, Clint. <laughs> What does that even mean? We're in Adelaide. Have well, a bit of respect. When you're in enemy territory, there's nothing sweeter than a big uh, state win. I Look, mean, we are coming to you live from Adelaide this morning because we did come over here for yeah. the round. Can I say I am loving Adelaide? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Uh, oh this gosh. joint is awesome. We had a ripping night last night. We went out for a cheeky little team bonding lunch. Oh, uh, well... Clint uh, took the scooters for a test drive this yes. morning. I'm very concerned about Clint's welfare this morning. Yes, so am I. Why? How, <laughs> how much sleep did you get after just celebrating the D's win? Question, were there but more the goals kicked good. or beers drunk? Uh, it's on par. Drink responsibly, of par. course. Clint always God, does. God, the D's fans loved you last night at the stadium. That is a ripping stadium, I will add as well. What about the walk from the stadium back to the city? Yeah, That's it's fun, very cool. It? <laughs> Lots of high fives to shout. Yeah. <laughs> Clint was high fiving and low fiving everyone. Oh that my listened. god! Honestly, and then, all of a sudden, we walked from the stadium across this glorious footbridge, under a tunnel, into some variety of train station, and then we popped out on a gaming floor yes, in the middle in of the Pokey Lounge. The yeah, casino. It was like the reverse bat cave. <laughs> Ooh, we oh, came yes. up and we're like, "Hello!" There we are with lots of chandeliers, lots of people. I don't we know bumped where into we Sam were. Mac. The twice sk- sunrise. In fact, we he was out into, very late. We bumped into him twice. Yeah, we did. And we bumped he into him up. after he had just left the Adelaide Crows dressing rooms oh, or whatever yes. you call it. And I was like, why would you did do he get that? In? But why would you he's, go he's there a, he's when a they lose? He's huge Adelaide fan. Yeah, but um, no one wants to see you when you lose, Sam Mack. Just let them grieve on their own. He got, it, he got into the dressing rooms. <laughs> oh, do, just hold that thought <laughs> because uh, Clint made an absolute fool of himself yesterday. We had no, a situation. Well, no. Yeah. Because Mr. Be Melbourne... Over here, which you are, by the way, I've never seen so many people wave at someone in my life. Oh, there's Stanners. There's Clint. And I'm like, Oh, Tony Jones copped a few looks as well outside the stadium. Chompers. Like, chompers. Hey, chompers. chompers. Oh, I didn't see Chompers. <laughs> yeah. Should we call Chompers this morning? Oh, we should. Yes. See yeah, how his night ended up? Absolutely. Who else can air. we call this well, morning? Well, I want to call John Stanaway at some point, Clint's dad, dad. because um, would you just turn your face up? You don't want John? Well, I just think he's going to be embarrassed by his son's yeah. behavior. Oh, when we tell your dad what you did last night after the game, you know what? One year ban. Yeah, fair enough. That's good. <laughs> It's good. I rode a real roller coaster of emotion with Chase, who went from the highest of highs to the oh, lowest of lows like within 15 minute window. Spinning his way into bed. Anyway, we'll explain what happened. In a half. Uh, but we are live from Adelaide this morning. We are here for Gather Round. This city knows how to put it on. If you get a chance to get to SA, I strongly advise it was you do fun, it. was wasn't it? Yep. And honestly, quick little flight from Melbourne. Bring the family for school holidays. Oh, hang on. Hang on. What about the flights? Tell us uh, about the flights. They Jay. were just. Full of footy people, and you guys got on a special charter. We, thank that you, you Lauren. Realize. We got on the Carlton charter <laughs> with the Carlton mascot, Narell Navy Narell. Was that her name? I woke up. I thought it was at Movie World. I'm like Batgirl's in front of me. What's going on? <laughs> I didn't know where I was. Spinning her way, tumbling her way down the aisle. And I was trying to have a sleep because you came on a separate flight, Lozzy, and we're trying to have a sleep. And then um, who was it that jumped on the mic? Oh, Anthony Kudafidi. Yeah. Hang Kuda. on. Kuda. On the mic on the plane. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. on the t- on the aeroplane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, this gentlemen. is your Ding. Kuda speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Ding. Hello, Why ladies did and gentlemen. Kuda did a Q&A, then he did a raffle. A little raffle. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the, <laughs> the winner of the signed football from 21A is... is... Or he'd do the row. He'd go and row. the two grand final tickets Wait, from 34B. Were you actually on B. the Carlton cheer squad playing? Oh, yes. So, yeah. We all got But scarves. Carlton weren't even playing No, they're playing night. tomorrow. Oh, it was cool oh. though. We got on the plane. Everyone got a Carlton scarf. Mm. Clint well, who's on to... Ligon Street yours? then? No one. Ligon Street must be Empty. suffering. <laughs> 
It was bizarre, wasn't it? It was very odd. Was, the camera crews you know were what? out filming everyone, and then they were like, "Everyone, we're going to get you to hold your scarves up and wave them in the air." Because of the because of the kerfuffle in the aisles, there was no trolley no drinks, service. No drinks. No cut. trolley service. Why they couldn't get through the oh, Carlton fans? Because Narell Navy was spinning her way down, down the aisle. <laughs> Did that? Did the cheer squad have their big pom poms on the plane? Yep, had it all. There was a stilt walker at one point. <laughs> <laughs> what a road trip this has been for the Melbourne Football Club. A superb week's worth of work. It's a grand old fag. It's a high flying. Oh, okay, kill it. It, kill it. it is. <laughs> it is fair to say the Adelaide Crows were not thrilled, their no. fans. They put up a good fight last night, though. The Crows were on yeah. fire. Yeah, well, they, they were weren't... starting to come, weren't they? Yes. Wait. So another 20 minutes, they might have got us. Can I make a confession? We've come to Adelaide for Gather Round. I watched about mm, four minutes of football tops last night. I was right into it. Oh, no, I was having a wow of a time. (laughs) Just talking to people. It's a lovely ground, isn't it? It's like very picturesque. I've never seen so many stands named after so many people in my life. We were in the Sir Donald Bradman stand. Yes, we were. There were it like there's like fifteen legends have stands mm. there, and then there's the hill, the old the hill. school hill where people still stand. I love that. That's back great. in the day. That's sink, cool. Sink schooners. And mm. if you are coming to Adelaide for a game, um, I would suggest staying at the Stadium Hotel, which is oh, so like cool. The they built a hotel into the stadium. Mm. Like I love that. That's Everyone great. says it's very fancy. We didn't get to stay. No, there. we're the Ibis. We, it's the Ibis. The Ibis is Sorry, very the Ibis. nice as well. The very comfortable Ibis. bed. Oh, great bed. Great, great bed. bed. Don't roll over, you you'll fall out. Ordering a McDelivery to the did Ibis you, was you not on my did bingo card for 2024. What did you get? What did you get? Here we are. What, what did you get? What, just what, a cheeseburger and a chip. Did you? Hang on. I was Jeez, starving because I flew up quite late and I hadn't eaten anything since. You got a McDelivery to the Ibis. I'm telling you. The Ibis. That was not on my bingo card for this year. So it's the Ibis. When we were heading back to the hotel, because, you know. It was a cheeseburger. Mum and I over here, um, we're old, so we called it a night. We left our you young child, Clint, out yeah. um, and said, you know, Godspeed, and had someone else on standby in the newsroom. Um, and then as we were walking home, Lauren's like, oh, mum, mum's hungry. Mum needs well, food. We, I walked past that 24-hour pancake parlor and I was like, oh, not yes. a bad option. Yeah. Jace loves a pancake. Shirley Temple. Um, did you know, there, you know, I know there wasn't a mini bar in the abyss, but did you see there was vending machines <laughs> with Jim Beam and Cola on oh, each floor? As soon as got out of the lift. Yes. <laughs> yes. You could get Magic Everything. Noodles, there was a Jim beer. Beam and Cola, mm. or a Powerade. There's beer. Magic Big Noodles. And yeah, there's Magic chips. Noodles in there. No, no you didn't see I those. Didn't, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't do that. So it's question. Cheesy. Question, do you wander down by yourself on the... Dead I screen. wondered. I was like, is the Abyss a hotel where he needs a key to get in the elevator? <laughs> or do I need to go to him? Oh, yeah. My God, so? he, he was slow. I had to go down. I had to do the yeah. walk of shame down to the street Great. and get my shizburger. Did you get some <laughs> nugs as well? No. Nah. No nugs? Hey, um, no nugs. Can we address possibly the most embarrassing thing I've ever witnessed yeah. involving oh, Clint Stanaway. Now, come on. Get Clint Stanaway talks a big game. Massive right? game. Are you, are you the number one ticket holder at the Demons yet? I mean, if I'm not, I'm a close second. Who's, got, who's the number one ticket holder? I don't know, actually. Because I bet they were in the rooms after the win. Clint had said, you'd spoken to track and said, I'm taking Jace down to the rooms after the game. Roaming the Jace. Because I wanted him to chat to the players. I was making yeah. notes the whole game. I was like, give him some feedback, yeah. weaknesses, strengths. That's yeah. all. I personally thought it was a terrible idea from the minute it was, who was played. Ca- who was catching the ball? Well. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. Yep, yep. So then we hike from the Donald Bradman yes. stand to the other side of Adelaide to where the yes. dressing rooms were. <laughs> First of all, we went too far and we tried to get in a goods lift and yes. let the staff she at the Adelaide very, Oval. very, very protective of her lift. Yes, yep. take the jobs very yes. seriously. She was going to tase you. Do you know what? She like shepherded me. Well, you shepherded went to walk me. in and she clotheslined you yeah, at the she did. Top. She did. She's going to the match review panel. She said, this is a good lift, darling. Get out. So out we hopped. And then we had to go to another lift. To get to the room. Yes. Now, can I do the re- the reenactment? Go for this it. is yeah, yeah, this yeah. is Clint, you know, and we're all following him. He's like, "This way, guys, we're in, we're in." And he's on the phone. He's like, "We don't need wristbands. They're coming to get us. We're in, we're in." <laughs> I don't think we're in. I don't. No. Like, it was just yeah. it was just a sudden turn. You're like, I don't think this no, is. You know, we should you, go know home. <laughs> you know why he said that because he went to the front of the line and the guy said, "No wristband, no entry, mate." Yeah, he did. And Clint actually. was like, he "But was I'm very Clint. firm." I heard Clint say it. He said, "But I'm Clint." Stone. Oh, you <laughs> did. Today no, show. That's actually. He said, "I'm on the Today what? Show. You can Google me." That is bullshit. <laughs> 
Right, anyway, you walked out of there, tail between your legs. It was. How many people did you call last night to try and get in? I made a few calls. Yeah. Because <laughs> then, I as, made a few calls. As we did the slow walk home, he goes, "Up." Oh, the CEO's coming yeah, to get Gary us Pert now. Gary Pert was coming oh, yeah. to get us. We were back at the we were back at the abyss. <laughs> we, we were, we're already at, we're at the, the abyss. casino. We're, we're on the, the abyss. gaming floor. We're on the gaming floor we playing at roulette. And you're the like, abyss. quick guys, back He's in the ready. Uber. <laughs> They're now going to let us in. Meanwhile, the team left the stadium forty minutes ago. Clint from the newsroom is here physically. Um, we are doing the. He's sh- here in body, but his spirit <laughs> died last night yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. In, what's, Melbourne won. My spirit died. We're somewhere. It's left somewhere in Adelaide in the main streets of Adelaide. scooter somewhere. Yeah. Lost at 2am. Because we are coming to you live from Adelaide this morning after we attended. Around. We have been gathering around. Haven't we just? We have. And I've got what right around Adelaide. The people here are nicer or than any other city, we in, had I think. the ultimate lunch yesterday. Some of the restaurants here are incredible as mm. well. I was mentioning earlier, start planning your SA road trip at southaustralia.com slash road trips today. You know what I had the other day? Hey Diddle. It's a, it, a Port Adelaide Who's... former captain has a wine company oh, now. Really? Hey Diddle Wines mm. from Adelaide. And Delicious. You said, it, you said Adelaide. Adelaide. But here they say Adelaide. 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 Can we, can we not? We're in the presence of a local Adelaidean. Um, oh, Josh. The Prince of Adelaide. Josh, who's the big dog here uh, hello at guys. Nova here Good in morning. Adelaide. Thank you Adelaide. for having us. Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> Adelaide. <laughs> Lovely to have you guys here. Um, now, Josh, we have been given the heads up about some local delicacies yes. that yes. are only here in Adelaide. And we think people Adelaide. in Adelaide are a bit <laughs> weird. Yeah. I am very intrigued by this. This looks really cool. So you've grown up here? Yes. Right. Born and bred. Born and bred, yes. Right. First things first, I heard about the water. Oh, the water's... Well, yeah. No we got board. warned we could get barley belly from the water. <laughs> That's we need ridiculous. We no. We need to take travel in. No. From water's Victoria. fine. Do people in Adelaide know their water tastes funny? I think we just get accustomed to it. We're used right. to it. Yes. Oh, it had like a powdery taste oh. yesterday. Oh, it was, yuck. It was just, yeah, they've it was, got iron guts. Here we go. Oh, Brody's oh, we've got, got a some this is This is Adelaide But what water. is it? Is it because... There's no fluoride. No fluoride. Yeah, I think they've cut back. Oh. What oh, is no, it? Budget, that's not for me. Budget cuts? <laughs> yeah, it's... Budget it's cuts. a bit like mothball or something. Here we go. Oh, if, you know what it is? It's like, you know when you've got a water bottle and it's left in the car for three yeah. weeks and then you go and drink it? That's what it's oh, like. Look at Clint. Good. No. That smells a bit He rank. just doesn't like it because there's no alcohol in it. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, let's talk about... You should drink that. You need hydration. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about some of the local okay. delicacies. The first one I hear a lot about is the iced coffee. Love it. Is it a particular brand that you have? Far- to- Farmers Union iced coffee. Iconic here in Adelaide. Right. Do they Absolutely. do chocolate or just iced coffee? Just iced coffee. Okay, okay. I'm going to give it a taste. What, why, why Am I drinking so this from the carton? Yeah. How yeah. do people oh, in Adelaide do it? Just, just, just yep. it. I'm going to spill <laughs> this, aren't I? No, you're right. I hope you do. <laughs> Should I have shaken it first? <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to shake it. Yep. Have a hoon. I am quite partial it's a pretty to good. a um, ice Oh, that's, that's good. It? It's really it's very sweet. very sugary. Yes. Oh. Yum. That's what I need this morning. It's good. Yeah. I used to have this. Each morning, from when I was about eighteen to twenty-two, oh, every yeah. morning First I would have one. Like yeah, protein shake. Is this what Adelaide traders have <laughs> instead hey, of a big? Hey, it's very popular. Yes. Jace has got. I don't know what it is, uh-huh. but it's a pie floating in, in soup. soup. It's yeah. a meat What's this pie. Called? I know you soup. said that I've been. I was born and bred in Adelaide. Yeah. The thing in front of you, Jace, right now, I have never eaten. What is it? What is it called? It's called a pie floater. Uh, so, is it a pie in soup? soup? Yeah, and there's peas all around it. Usually, oh, the peas are put on top terrible. of this pie. Like, like I, I would do oh, it if it was. Look at it. It's I, just like a four and twenty in chicken soup. Oh, yeah, no, I would do it if it was a, like a gravy. That's a hard no. Like Even I'm, the local, the oh, local no, Adelaidean is embarrassed. Juice in that. Don't eat it. Bit of juice. Bit of. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my god! Wash it down with some dusty water, quick. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pass him that iced coffee, yeah, I reckon. E. coli oh, water. Do you want some iced coffee? I'm okay, thanks. I'm happy to eat that because there is no way in hell I will be indulging on the third item on the list, which is Josh. Smiley fruits. Have you not had? So you not had this in fruits. Melbourne? So yeah, let's explain. Otherwise known it. as bung fruits. It's not. It's not ham. It's not bacon. Oh, it's spam. Well, is it mixed meat? We're, we're not quite sure. But we love it. And it's got a, uh, so just, let me explain it to people who can't see it. Imagine spam in a circle with Clint Stanaway's face on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks like Clint. Hold it up on Hold your face. Hold it up to your face. Oh, my God. You know what it looks like? It looks like one of those face masks that like, people put on. I look on. like Nicolas Cage in Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, taste it. <laughs> taste it. 
<laughs> Eat the face. Do we need to have sauce with this? No. You, you don't it have to. It smells like dog food. Oh. <laughs> Can, I ask, Can you it... stop fingering it like that? You're putting your dirty hands Which all part? over it. Is it something you normally cook or you just have it? Just oh. have it as is. Go, Clint. Which is part it like of the face meat, not meatloaf? What just was that stuff bite. I used to have as a kid? Straz. Is it like Straz? <sighs> What's that like? Oh, listen oh, to my God. Oh, God. God. It sounds like you're chewing on plastic. <laughs> I don't think he's gone for a second Very bite. Tasty. Oh. I think we've unfairly um, displayed the Ooh, it's tastes it's of quite South Australia. Absolutely, because there's beautiful things from South Australia. There's good cheeses. There's coffin <laughs> bay oysters. Oh my god, he's thrown the smiley I'm face Nicholas at him. I'm Nicholas Cage. In Tony's face on the back of your chair. <laughs> don't leave that. Oh god, there's a guy behind me. Oh no, it's just the face <laughs> on the ham. <laughs> We've been gathering around in South Australia. I've loved it. It's been it. delightful, hasn't it? Great hospitality. The trip's not over yet. Hey, we'll point out. Cracking airport. Great yeah, airport. I airport. love an airport. Yeah. And the staff at the airport. I, I tried to get on an earlier flight because I was here on Tuesday and I wanted to go home early. And, you know, it's, they're quite, they can be quite difficult airport staff going, yes. no, no further flights. Yeah. They were straight onto it. They were so have helpful. You, um, Shut you ever, out. You, have you ever had to do the pack of shame? You know, when your luggage is a couple of kilos oh, over repack. and you've got to repack with the suitcase open, everyone's lined yes. up behind so you. So embarrassing. Oh. Only on Jetstar, really. Oh. You end up just putting all the oh. outfits on. You're wearing like nine coats. Yeah, but that yeah. makes no sense. When they weigh your hand luggage and they're like too heavy, it's too late. So what do you do? People start taking stuff out and wearing it. Yeah. But what does it matter? It's still way the same. It's still going in the same plane. Oh, do you know what Clint It should be the size, not the weight. I agree with that, Lauren. Lauren, Thanks, Clint. Yesterday, um, because we were late taking off. What have I said? We were leaving Melbourne Airport and the captain comes over. Ding. The captain came over? No, no, over the PA. Oh. (laughs) I was like, I know Clint's popular, but that's... (laughs) Yeah, I'm, I was like, shouldn't you be up the front? Yeah. Line the Straight place? away, welcome to Virgin Australia. <laughs> um, no, he came over and he's like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, quite heavy traffic leaving Melbourne Airport. Um, we've got about uh, one, two, three, 14 planes 14 in planes front of us. in front of us waiting to take 14. off. 14. All going to gather around. I know 14 planes at Melbourne Airport. Yeah. <laughs> 14 <laughs> planes. 14. Yes. Oh, my god. And here's the best It was bit. a busy day at the airport because it's school holidays. We get airborne. And you know how they do the whole, like, uh, we're going to try and make up as much time as we can. Yeah, I love it when they do that. God love them. They made up a fair bit of they time. Did, we're yeah. only, in, like, he maybe half an hour late. And as we're coming in, Clint's like, well, you know, if they can go that quick all the time, why aren't they just going do it. to, you know? I just agree. do it, guys. Why don't they just fly Just put your fast? foot down and get, get me there I as quick as possible. It's because of the cost of fuel. Yeah. They burn yeah, extra fuel. Yeah, I heard that too. So Clint came up with the idea. Do you remember what you suggested? Oh, geez, it was 24 hours ago. I'm not too sure I've got the memory for it. But... He suggested they pass an FPOS machine oh, yes, around the that's plane. Right. And if oh, you like want collection the... in church. No, yeah, so... if you... Like the collection plate. Chuck a want... few coins in if you want to go faster. Yeah, Captain so Richard basically... Krebny can put the pedal down, but everyone's got to tap and go. So here's my theory. Majority rules, effectively, you, you press your call button, and if it, we're in a majority, basically everyone has to pay, oh. chip in, an extra five bucks, ten bucks, and then we tap and go, and then we... No way. They the charge down. you so much as it is. Just sorry don't, sorry don't to the Greens me. this morning as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't give me the pathetic little quiche. Save your money on the quiche for the one-hour flight the and add it on the fuel and let's yeah, get there faster. Exactly. Majority rules. I agree. Imagine, what? Imagine being poor Tina just sitting there going to see your grandkids. You're in no rush and the whole plane turning on you because she won't <laughs> tap and go. That'd be Put you, your Jason. Put your down now, like, Tina. I'm not in a rush to get home to my family. <laughs> nah, you can drive this as slow as you like. I reckon we do, like we should circle for a bit. Let's, <laughs> let's, cut, let's cut circle. a few laps. It depends which end of the plane you're sitting in. If you're up the front, you're like, a few more laps. Yeah. You could get a few more rosés in oh, on this mate, flight. The one time we have been upgraded, we're coming back from Fiji, the one time, it was premium economy, just getting upgraded to that. Yeah. And they were like, I'm sorry, we're going to have to circle, you know, and we're like, we will stay up oh, here all day. Long as you like. Yeah, no worries. Let's, let's keep going until this baby <laughs> runs out of fuel. <laughs> we are doing the show live from Adelaide for Gather Round. Year two, they have done this, second year in a row. There's four years in Adelaide. And can I? we went last night, it was amazing. So if you missed out this year, because the games have all sold out, um, I'd, I'd get involved next year. Do it early. I saw the Premier last night from South Australia, Peter Malinowskis. He's he is quite easy very on the eye. Handsome. Did you say hello? I said hello. Yeah. You He's, love a premiere. I do, don't I? Like yeah. the other day when around... we talked about the biggest celebrities in our phone yeah, and you said the premiere of Melbourne, I felt yeah. sad for you. Victoria, actually. <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> I actually felt a bit flat for you. Because I know you know. What a big, do you know what, Lauren? I know you know Lauren, bigger celebrities than have that. Have you got her number? No. No, you don't. So but, uh, you know you know more famous people than that. <laughs> but for some reason you think that is the top of the tree in celebrity circles. 
You bumped into many celebrities last night, and the one you've who, mentioned who is the Premier of South Australia. Who else did, I, did we bump into? You bumped into Eddie Maguire. Oh, we did too. Oh, God. Eddie. I think he's I back mean, there still finishing the chat. Yeah, I love he Eddie. He does love a chat. He bumped oh. into Brad Green, Melbourne Green, Football yes. Club legend. John Platton was there as well. I saw Gavin Wanganeen. Did you? Also easy on the eye. Gavin Wanganeen, <laughs> fresh from Survivor. I Wasn't think it was Survivor? Gavin Wanganeen. <laughs> Someone show me a picture of Gavin Wanganeen. <laughs> I think it was him. <laughs> Gavin. If it wasn't. I didn't say hello. He did so well on we Survivor. We don't know each other, by the way. Was right. he on Survivor? He was on Survivor. Well, he survived because I saw him yesterday. Whoever you spoke Spoiler to alert. yesterday must have been on Survivor because he didn't pick you up and say, no, you introduced me to Trax Manager, who oh, wasn't, yeah, watching, Trats, yeah. wasn't watching any of the games. Christian Petrarca's no. manager. Yeah, I'm like, yep. Christian's having a ripper. And he goes, yeah, someone just told me that. <laughs> I'm like, you're his manager. <laughs> oh, Robbie Durazzi would have been. Oh, yeah, that's Gavin Wanganain. Saw him last night. Yeah. Um, Dreamboat. Track was good last night. Oh, mate, he was. In the three seconds of football that I watched. Fire. He was very good in the last quarter. Oh, tell Lauren what your dad was saying about last time Melbourne played down here. So dad did a dad did a walk from the Adelaide Oval back to the hotel across that beautiful bridge. And it was against Port Adelaide, Melbourne Port Adelaide, and the Port Adelaide supporters really got up the Melbourne supporters like and started spitting, on spitting at them. Yes. No. Once I was at a game and the Port Adelaide supporters spat at one of my friends in a really? who's wearing a Geelong scarf. Yeah. Really? <laughs> they're like enough. they're like camels. They spit. Like camels. Really? No, yeah. they're llamas. 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 Are you, llamas. You normally have a problem with people booing. I don't think you would have taken Oh no, I don't like well. spitting. Spitting's not on. Yeah. Not for no, you. Not, a not spitter. for me. I don't like booing either. Yeah, right. We should all be happy for one another. We should be. <laughs> Rah, rah. Uh, hey, it's coming up to 7 o'clock. We're going to check your right to work. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Also, oh, my goodness, it's Friday. Shout out to all the parents. Yes, dealing we're halfway. With school holidays. We're halfway, baby. Well, you haven't been there for the last 24 hours. Yeah, no, I have not. I've never seen a man so enthusiastic to get on a plane to Adelaide for Gather Round. Well, you know me, like to support small business and towns, you know. Adelaide is not a small town. The I mean, economy. Pump some cash into the you economy. You got it, Clint. You got it. Uh, so that we are live. How much of your own money have you spent on this trip supporting small towns and businesses? Well, I ordered us McDonald's question. for breakfast, so that's a good start. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ronald. I'm feeding one Ronald after another. <laughs> We are in Adelaide this morning and we are loving it. <laughs> yep, got Grimace's rent paid this morning. Um, you can start planning your SA road trip to southaustralia.com. Uh, go to the website, sorry, southaustralia.com slash road trips. You, gonna, you should have driven here. We should have done oh, a road trip. Yeah, in our Winnebago. I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity, us driving. Sure was. Imagine how much fun we would have had. <sighs> next year. There's always next year, guys. Oh, I didn't really mean it. Border <laughs> town. See the Today Show? I've gone to that fancy winery. Just out the of Clarenvale. Uh, yeah, the one with like the Barossa. The, the glass house. Oh, that of. is amazing. What are they broadcasting from there? Oh, they were out there yesterday. The oh. winemaker there, he's he's quite a character. Yeah, right. You can go and make your own blends. I did it once. It's very uh, cool. Bye for now. We love Adelaide. We've had a great time so far. Haven't although we just? was a small situation. Uh, you guys flew separately to me. Yeah. And I have been informed that one Clint Stanaway has done something very what? naughty. Well, there's a story in the news today about an Aussie father of two who was kicked off a flight because he took a certain photo at the airport. This man was travelling from Sydney to Brisbane and he took a photo of him and the family walking up the stairs to get oh, on the aircraft. Oh, take a photo of Clint, tarmac. Yes. Clint so is, that, is that not allowed? Well, apparently not. What do you mean? He took a fa- he took a nice family photo of his kids and his missus getting up the stairs like yeah. on the plane. I took exactly. a nice photo you, of us. Yeah. You and I. Literally exactly Self-wire. the same photo. The amount of people, because we posted that photo yesterday, the amount of people that sent me this news story going, you and Clint should be locked up as well. Really? He said, I tried to get on the plane. I tried to take a photo of my kids as they got off the plane and a lady called me and... Very bad swear word. Oh, come An on. Idiot. Why? Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's because they're filling up the plane <laughs> with petrol. Don't tell they're me that's going to cause some sort of you explosion. Know what they do? Yep. They and he got get... kicked off. No. They should set up the camera system they have on the bottom of the loop on a roller coaster. Well, he said. Yes. And yes. then when you get off then... the plane, you look at the wall of photos yeah, and be like, there we go. Yeah. I'll buy that one of me going down the stairs. With a green screen so yeah. you can pick your background. <laughs> he said. Um... <laughs> I'm getting on a plane and. The Gold Coast. In Mauritius. He did say his phone was on aeroplane mode. So hang on. You're not allowed to do it. Well, if they're refueling, apparently not. It's like at the petrol station, you're not supposed to be on your phone. Why is that? What is the thing with petrol and phones? 
I think it could I spark tell you. like a fire. Well, what? what? Where's the fire the in your phone? The phone could spark a hey, fire. Hey, well, ease up. Okay, I'm not Dick the one makes the electronics. Rules. I'm asking the question. <laughs> That's what the sticker says. If you look at the sticker yeah, on the Yeah, I don't get it, though. I'm with Lauren. What is it? I mean, maybe if it was a Hello Moto flip phone, you might flip it too hard and might snap in half. You know what? I but no the, one's doing that. I reckon even the pilots are up the front trying to send a oh, cheeky text as we're are. like climbing absolutely into the they sky. Are. Yeah, I was on a plane once, saw the pilot playing They're Candy Crush. They're on TikTok. Crush. Are you serious? Yeah. Playing Candy Crush. At what point? Like, was... Well, we're in there. Cruise control, bra. <laughs> it's called <laughs> autopilot, not no. cruise control. Okay, I got in trouble once from cruise, a pilot for saying cruise that. Cruise control, bra. <laughs> <laughs> Just going down the Monash, <laughs> engaging cruise control, bruh. Anyway, this is not about me. Did he say that over the PA? <laughs> Tension, bruh. <laughs> Should I buy more lives hey, on Candy Crush? Bruh. <laughs> hey, bruh, weather for our arrival? 25 and fine like you. <laughs> that would be great to have a the Gold Coast, like bruh. Hey, um, I want to run with this. 13, 24, 10. Have you been told off as an adult? Oh, it's so embarrassing getting in trouble. No, as do you an know adult. what happened to me the other day? I was at the movies with the kids, and you know how, for some stupid reason, they send the movie cinema casual in, and they walk down the stairs during a movie. They stand at the front of the cinema and they watch the crowd, and then they walk back out. I have no idea yeah, why what they do. Do it. they do? That? What do they do? <laughs> like, say, so they walk into the cinema during a movie, and they've got a torch, a little yes. mini torch yep, on them. Yep. What and to they make go, sure everyone's behaving themselves? They go down the front, they look, <laughs> and then they walk back out. They and as I'm walking back out, torch. she shine. She Did she get the busted tor- doing something? No, she shone the torch on me and went, uh-uh. "Like, get your feet down off the seat." Oh, oh, come on! I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. That's embarrassed. That is, I'm embarrassed for you. I've got secondhand embarrassment. There's some, there, there are people are too strict with rules, aren't they? Aren't they just? Do you know I know someone that got a fine for jaywalking? Oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, that's humil. What Don't about, ever tell what about when you get dinged by a tram? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I am in my own life. Do you know what? Stop life. dinging your dinger. I can see you. I'm, I'm just got nowhere to go. I go to open the door and they think I'm going to slam the door open on their tram. It's like, he's up, Turbo. <laughs> Getting dinged by a tram is like. Humiliating. You know yeah. what you don't want? Over the, I've Might been as well the, paint loser on my forehead. I've been, I've been at the survey before <laughs> and someone was using their phone and the attendant will come over the speaker, like a BP. Oh. Pump four, please stop using <gasps> your phone. Oh, oh, no. Hugh, nah. Hugh, bra. Bra. <laughs> bra. <laughs> 13, 20. Cruise foot. control, bra. <laughs> 13, 20. And your partner's Guys, in aviation. He would die hearing you I say that. I think Adelaide has really changed me as a person. I feel like you I- turned into Prue and True. <laughs> 13, 20, 14, have you been told off as an adult? Give Pro True Clint Michael, <laughs> bruh. Have you been told off as an adult? 13, 20, 14 is our number. I saw it in person at the airport yesterday. A little man in the high vis blew the whistle, told someone to go around. Oh, yeah. And everyone looks. It's very it's embarrassing. embarrassing. Yep. It's embarrassing. The lady next to me had her handbag still strapped across her body and the air hostess was like, you're going to need to put that under the seat before takeoff. Oh. And she was like, okay, sorry. Oh, no. Sorry, embarrassing. Stop yelling at me. Macy, uh, Mace Dog in our promotions um, department. Oh, but this is just silly. <laughs> <laughs> Sat in the wrong seat. Whole plane's ready to take off. And then the flight attendant walks oh, up and she's no. like, are you sh- Sherelle? <laughs> no, I'm Macy. You're in the wrong seat, Dale. And but everyone looks at you like, oh. Was she in the wrong seat by like one seat or one row? Or did wrong she row. just think she was in a public bus it's, and it's sat there? It's a weight there? issue. <laughs> They've got to weigh it properly. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, 13, 24, 10. Uh, I've got $200 Jim's cleaning vouchers up for grabs. Jim Cleaning has got all your cleaning needs covered, home and office. You can book at jimscleaning.com.au. <laughs> Have you been told off? <laughs> Adult, can you two get it together? We're laughing because you said gym cleaning. <laughs> it's because I'm in Adelaide. Just Not gym. gyms cleaning. Just gym gym. cleaning, like they're going to clean gyms. Well, maybe it's an offshoot of gyms. You don't know. It gyms, isn't. It's gyms actually gym. cleaning. Not, <laughs> you don't clean need a gym dumbbell. cleaner. Let's <laughs> clean the treadmill. I don't need this. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we just take a look behind the uh, peek behind the curtain then? The song is finishing. And I just hear Lauren go, all right, what are we doing? And Clint's like, where am I? <laughs> No, I said, I feel sick. We're Honestly. in Adelaide, and it's half an hour behind here. So yes, it's it feels... Oh, it's early. rattling me the time. We are coming to you from the future. No, from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we coming from? Are we? This is like the Daylight Savings chat. Are we coming to you from the future or the past? We're back to the future. Back to the future. Oh, God. Great movie. In our time machine. Yes. Anyway, Daylight it's... Savings finishing this weekend? Oh, I don't know. So what happens in Adelaide then? 
Oh, uh, I've just Then we'll be coming the from up. the future. Hang on. So, oh, no, no. Do, do, but do so they have daylight savings? Sunday, yeah. Oh, sorry. Got this to pay Sunday, the bills. you can't go back. Nova, Jace, Lauren, Clint. Um, coming so, to you from the future. Yeah. <laughs> So on Sunday, no, we go back. The, the clocks go back. back I'm not yeah, doing this. You get an extra hour. We do. So the kids normally get up at but six. In Adelaide, it's still half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> They're not catching up any time. A so. half hour is a peculiar time Isn't it difference. Just, what? You know what? When they sat down and said, "Did they just choose it? We're going to go a, half an hour. Is there a not math- an hour? Just <laughs> half an hour. Is there a mathematical sum to this, or did Adelaide just choose half an hour? You know what? If I was NT, I'd do a power play. Do no. like a strong forty-five. No, but minutes. like, did Adelaide I think say the NT half as well? Did yeah, Adelaide no, make it forty-five? Say, oh, yeah, it's good, we're yeah. going to do daylight savings. But we're only going to do a half hour daylight savings. Well, no, they'd do the full hour, anyway, which would still. Anyway. Let's move on. Okay, because 13... we're talking about getting told off as adults, and quite frankly, I think we're going to get told off after this show. Uh, Thirteen twenty-four <laughs> ten is our number. Let's go to Natalie. Oh, this was only yesterday. This happened to you, Nat. What's the story? Oh, me and my boss went to a site visit for a customer that works, like we work with. And we were going in through the big gates and we went in through the front door and the lady didn't greet us or anything. She's like, oh, I just wanted to let you know that you're going eight kilometres an hour in our car park and you're supposed to be going five. And it was just so embarrassing. She, radar like, I just wanted to crawl she must have a radar. <laughs> yeah. oh, like, she must have a radar. Yeah. Yeah. Mate. Five kilometers. Oh, five kilometers an hour. You might as well get out and walk. Exactly. Up. I'll tell you what. School oh, no. pickup that's is nice. got a lot of. Ang- <laughs> it's got. A- Thank you for your call, mate. School pickup. There's a lot of anxiety because they do like a drive-through system, and it's oh, like yeah. it's like ordering from the soup Nazi on Seinfeld. Like you got to walk up. You you get you like you pull up. Kid, get in the car. Get in the car. What if your car, kid's not ready? Go. Kids got to be ready. What if they're not? Well, you they drive sleep off. They, they stay at school. Oh, toodaloo. Yep. Yeah. They st- the teacher sits there and goes, "No lap? kid for you." And you go. Another lap. Yep, got to cut another lap. Getting told oh, off at the airport <laughs> when you're picking someone up and they go, all right, oh, you've sat yeah. here too long, move, move along. On. It's it's humiliating. Yeah. But come on, give me another minute. You know. Yeah, it's why you start going, at the back and you just slow. I mean, what else have you got to do, forward. old best man? I know, and I'm like, <laughs> it's not your concrete driveway. No. Right? Like, who cares? No, we all own the airport. We're all taxpayers. <laughs> I think it's probably you. 13-24-10 is our number. Let's go to Stacey. Uh, you've been told off, Stace, as an adult? Um, well, I made my partner get told off. So oh, I, um, you dobbed him yeah, in. Yeah. Well, my three-year-old was her first day at kinder and I had to go to work and he didn't want to leave her, so he sat outside in his car. And then he sent me a text saying that he could see her in the playground. And I said, oh, oh quick, get me a video, get me a video. And so he ran down his window and oh, was no. recording our daughter. <laughs> and then one of the teachers come up and said, excuse me, can you not record? And then he sent me a message and said, I've just been told off. And then I was like, yeah. oh, you're there? A ma- grown man sitting outside a kindergarten filming. <laughs> well, the window rolled down filming kids is not okay. Duh. No, duh. You can't be doing that, <laughs> yeah. Dad. No. Dad. Yeah, oh, no. Well, that's on you. Stacey. 13, 20, 14. Yeah, you can do better, Stacey. Uh, let's go to Jenny uh, in Croydon. Jenny, are you been told off? Hi. Um, well, I met a really lovely guy about two months ago. We've been dating for a couple of months now, but on our fourth date, we went to a hotel for a drink one night and we were looking for this quiet corner where we could have a coffee or a drink. It just sat in the corner and um, a manager came up to us after about 45 minutes and said, this is the gaming lounge, and basically inferred that we were kissing too much for the patron. Oh, in the yeah. corner. It when Denise is... Uh, you know. What were you doing? Some PDA? Well, we, were just, we were just sitting in the corner next to each other, but he kept kissing me and cuddling, you know, just like... Over a know, coffee, not the even pokies, a martini. In the yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. Meanwhile, there's <laughs> bloody... Here's me in the corner playing dolphin treasure. And, and they're macking on over a macchiato in the yeah, corner. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Should be encouraged. That's where you end up, you know, when the pub shuts and everyone moves to the gaming lounge. No, That's rock bottom. only you do that. Well, it's not just me, Jenny's here as well, macking on in the corner. <laughs> Good on it. Uh, more of that. How, where do you sit on public displays of affection, Clint? Me. Do you pash in pubs, like in public? Pash and dash kind of guy, I reckon. 
Oh, geez. You no try to pass single. it, they dash. Yeah. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> And we are broadcasting from the future or the past, did we decide? Oh, we can't quite work that up. There's someone to the future. much smarter than us here that might yes. be able to help us out. We're in Adelaide for Gather Round, and Tony Jones has Choppers! joined us this morning. Oh, come that's, on. That's all I heard last night. <laughs> Choppers, give us a wave! He was oh. the most popular man at Choppers! Adelaide Oval. It was, it, was, it was a pandemic. Was it? <laughs> it was uh, like a pandemic last night, except for one lady. Who walked past? And she, oh, were you there for that? No, I heard about it. What happened? We were, I, I we were the heard. immediate aftermath. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. I haven't heard. Can't wait until Nathan Brown takes over from you. And I said, <laughs> I, and I've actually put a posh twang on that. Anyway, and I said, why is that? I can't stand you. Oh, anyway, it's really nice said, when oh. people do that. Yeah. Anyway, I thought, oh, that's nice. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so uh, she continued to give me a full and frank assessment of my abilities on air, and um, yeah, and off she, off she went into the stadium, and I thought. I've never in my life barried for Melbourne as hard as I did last night. <laughs> oh, she night. was an Adelaide supporter, was she? Oh, Adelaide. Well, duh. Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> did we need to actually even say that? Did she Adelaide. stand in the background of your cross? Because it always... Oh, prop- I love that. It oh, always, Tony hates no. that. It makes me itchy when oh. I see people trying to do news crosses and there's no. people in the background <laughs> like on the phone trying to wave. I, I know, but I say to people, I say, especially over here, I say... Why do you do that? Like we're going to Melbourne. Like no, no one is actually seeing it. So they some, might have a cousin. These in are my favourites when they're Melbourne. on the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So sometimes what I do is uh, I'll say, okay, here we go. Welcome back to the MCG. Big night here as Richmond prepare to take it. And they think I'm on, but I'm not. Anyway, and when I finish, I'll say, oh, well done, guys. Anyway, and then I do the real one. Okay, so if you're listening to this, <laughs> stick like... around for his second cross next oh, time on. to make sure you get on. Are the we on? <laughs> hang on? That thing Clint just did, that was the news, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, apparently. Yeah, Are you I don't serious? Know he's, yeah. he's done well this morning. He's had, had not much sleep. Tony, what time do you think he got home last night? Well, where is home these days? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know where we were? At the Ibis. At the Ibis. We're liking to call it the Abyss. The, what, what? We received a the video Abyss. at yeah. 2 oh, no. a.m. Oh, no. of him on one of those scooters. scooters. Oh, oh no. Scooters. No, but I wasn't driving. Did I you was, have a helmet on? I was being dinked. I oh, dinked. Yeah. Who was dinking you? No, it's someone that was sober. Who was Who? on the front? Who was sober in Adelaide at 2 a.m.? <laughs> Who? That is a good question, Tony Jones. <laughs> no, did you have a helmet on? I did have a helmet yes. on, yes. Okay, yeah, but yeah. you were still performing an illegal act no. on the streets by oh my being God, dinked. It's like you get in Aren't you from allowed? That. I know. I've been, I've been Actually, spoken can I tell you, to. We the... just did a segment on adults getting in trouble, and it's East now scooters. happening before our very eyes. Oh, I got in trouble from my mum on text the other day. What? What? Why? <laughs> like, I w- Why? Whoever taught her to text and put angry emojis on them, <laughs> I'm going to seriously have a word to them. Um, she said I was short with her on the phone. Oh, I don't know how she could have got that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shut up, Jase. Um, can I tell you, I've seen more of Clint in these past two minutes than I've seen him all year in the news. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? What does he do? Tell, Give us some dirt about Clint at Channel 9. Who no, would know? He's never there. Don't. Well, you know, because, you know, he we, so oh, we finish don't. our show mm. and then we go into a planning meeting for the next day. And yeah. every day, it's a very I kid you not, meeting. guys, I've got to go, go. Gotta gotta go, go to Channel 9. 9. And go you know what? We've Tony. busted him because I called him and I was like, have you been running up and down the stairs at Channel 9 and he was at the gym? He lies to us and tells us he's got to come to meetings room. with Oh, he you. lies to us because your planning meetings go until 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's this is what happens. Worlds. This is what happens. He comes into the newsroom, yep. right? And we, we have a little roster because we actually Airbnb his desk out these days, right? Because <laughs> it's never been It's a hot used. desk. Yeah, anyway. Actually, it's pretty cold at the minute. Anyway, so and he comes in and he sits there and he opens up his bottom drawer and he's going, oh, thank God there's chocolate in there. So he drags the chocolate out, feeds his face, and then he goes, I don't know what I have to do, right? Oh, when is my name going to be added to this show, <laughs> right? Like, seriously, it should be Clint, Jason, Lauren. Yes. Which I agree with. Do you know what he said the other day? I agree you know what he too, did the other day? He put the wrong news to wear. It was a oh, day old. I heard about it. I heard about it. He was quite proud. Can I just put it on the record? He doesn't say that about the third name. I um I forgot he about actually, the news the other day. He actually just, just to record it. it. Yeah. What, the Channel 9 news? No, 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 no. No, no. no that went out as normal. But our news on Nova. He was in the car board. park. He's like, oh, I forgot to read the 9 o'clock news. <laughs> Meanwhile, the footy results were in there again. <laughs> well, yesterday's so, yeah. score. Thursday night footy on a Friday. Clint, I, I, I don't want to feel – I feel a bit like Dr. Phil at the moment, but yeah. is your life just in a downward spiral? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Look, it's a little unkept. I mean, I could say you're, you're in your forties, all right. I just, you know, being dinked around the streets of I Adelaide know. at two in the morning, forgetting to do the news. Yeah. Yeah. Next step is I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh. Isn't it? That's well, the only thing left. It is. Tell it's Tony only... about the uh, the bar at the Abyss that you were going to hit up when you got back at the hotel. What was the bar at the Abyss? Just to the right when you get out of the lift. <laughs> oh, the, there's a, they've got a vending machine bar. They've got beers in a vending machine. <laughs> a vending machine. Yeah, bar. So you get no out mini bars. And there's a Come... vending machine with beers in it. <laughs> Well, can I tell you the most bizarre vending machine I've ever seen? Oh, right? I don't mean to. World. I don't mean to gazump your Adelaide, but I was in Abu Dhabi once, yeah. right? At this, I don't know what it was. I and bet you weren't at the Ibis there. You were <laughs> no, at the, I was at the Abu Dhabi Holiday Inn. <laughs> right. Anyway, so um, <laughs> and they had a vending machine with gold nuggets. I was going to say gold as yeah. a piss take. Yeah, no, gold. seriously, gold nuggets. Like gold bullion. Yes. Yes. I've never actually seen a gold bullion. I've only and it was like, I, and it's like, um, I've been looking for the twisties, and all I could see was <laughs> gold oh, no, nuggets. I've, I've hit B twelve. I'm getting <laughs> gold. I'm getting gold. I'm still the what did a gold nugget set you back in a vending machine? Oh, I didn't there? even look at that. I was too, I was too gobsmacked, and I just thought. And I actually asked someone at the time. I said, and they said, yeah, it's a thing. People buy it, invest. You know, it's uh, invest it. Well, they they keep it. And then they, oh. and then they, you know, like we Gold's would go to a vending up, machine. That's crazy. Get, get some twisties, eat them, and think nothing yeah. of it. But these people go to a vending machine. That is. They get a gold nugget and then keep crazy. it. Crazy. Hmm. Well, they hey, didn't you. have them at the abyss in Adelaide. No, they just uh, did just not. quickly, TJ, tonight, uh, footy lines. They're going to get up. They need to. Who are they playing? The Roos. Oh, Norwood. Yes, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, if it's news in Melbourne, it's news to me in Clint. <laughs> <laughs> the most trusted voices in news. Um, no, they they do need a win. You're right. The yeah, hundred percent. A bit of scandal has followed them. Early yeah. In the oh, yeah. What's yeah. going on at the Lions, TJ? You you would have the inside well, word. Nothing apparently. Oh yeah. Nothing apparently. Way. But um, look, you 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 don't have 15 media conferences to say nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Something happened. Mm. But what happens on tour stays on tour. Well, not always. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're Clint Stanaway. No. We shame him for three hours. Do you want a hash brown? Oh, yeah, you want a hash brown? I got you McDonald's. I got you McDonald's, TJ. What's happened to you, Clint? You're dealing drugs on air. <laughs> No, I do not want a hash brown. And can I tell you, nor does he need one. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> uh, earlier, Clint, we said, uh, who's the biggest celeb? Yes. You who's got- the biggest dog you've got in well, your home? I, I name dropped the Premier, Jacinta <laughs> Allen, and That's I thought that was a pretty good... She's lovely. What I'm about... Nerd. Okay. What about the AFL CEO? Okay. Andrew Dillon. I the big like, dog! I love Andrew the Dillon. The new CEO, the new boss. He joins us now. Andrew, good morning. Good morning. Great to great to be on. How are you guys? Oh, we are good. We're so excited. We went to um, we saw you briefly last night at the opening round of Gather Round. We had an absolute ball, but I need to apologise for Clint because oh, you no. came over kindly to say hello and Clint was so obnoxious singing that demon song. He completely <laughs> ignored you. Oh, well, look, footy does funny things to people, doesn't it? But uh, it was a, it was a great start for Gather Round with an awesome crowd. And, uh, you know, the D's got it done. They played really well. That's a so cracking good. stadium they've got here in Adelaide, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. They, you know, it's been around for about 10 years now. It's just made such a difference for Adelaide and Port Adelaide, but also just for the whole city and the state here. Um, so well located and just such a great atmosphere when you go and watch footy or, or any other sport or event there. I love, no doubt you would have had to go into the wanky little rooms and the functions last night, but there was a moment we caught you where you just came out, you were standing in the stands, just yeah, on your own, up. watching like the Like a footy, footy fan. Yeah. Yeah, you must yeah I was almost crouched. going to wander over and pass you a tinny. Um, <laughs> but I was like, I, it was just nice to see you getting amongst it as well. Yeah, look, it's um, look, great crowds here in Gather Round, and it's one of the great things about this weekend is that we've got fans from all 18 teams rubbing shoulders and you know we've got some of the yeah. best fans in the world and uh yeah and they're all they're all in on mass in adelaide this weekend which is so great i've always found it funny people who wear um like jerseys and scarves to the footy of a team who's not playing oh. but at <laughs> gather round it's acceptable there were people of all teams everywhere last night all getting along yeah no it's so good and that's why i think there's yeah, I think if you, you you love your team, obviously, but I think there's a lot of footy fans who just love their footy, and uh, I think yeah. for for a lot of them, they can get their they can get their you know almost their yearly fix in a weekend, which mm. is fantastic. You're like a proud dad at the moment. This is like um, <laughs> Christmas for footy, really, um, Andrew. How are you enjoying the gig? Yeah, look, it's, um, I'm really enjoying it. It's such a, I mean, it's a game as you see for this weekend, but it's a game that means so much to so many people. So it's a big responsibility, but you know, I, I love the game. I was, played since I was four years old. I've, you know, 
love going to the game and watching it, as, as you were saying. But, yeah, it's a, it's a big responsibility, but, it, but it's such a privilege as well, and I'm really enjoying it. Hey, Andrew, what team do you support? Are you allowed to pick a favourite? Are you a Tigers man, well, are you? Well, yeah, I'm a Tigers man. Um, but Smart now man. It's, uh, you know, Smart man. I love my 18 teams all equally now. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't pick a favourite child. Like, like I That's said, you right. looked at home last night in the stands. Would you... Uh, would you ever don a bit of face paint? Like how far, <laughs> how far would you go with a flag? A flag? A flag? I think I think there are limits. So, um, but I do, <laughs> I do love. <laughs> uh, hey, can we get some advice from you? Because last night, Clint Stanaway, yes, who what you know, he talks a big game, and he he told JC take him down into the demons oh, yeah. room. Oh, I was embarrassed. And he he paraded us in, around the Andrew. stage, and then he didn't have a wristband, and yeah. he couldn't get in. And you've never seen two sadder men in your life. Yeah. Has he been banned, or was he not supposed to be in there in the first place? <laughs> Yeah, I think we brought in a rule a few years ago about sort of having undesirables in the room. So, quick. <laughs> Speaking about undesirables, I actually um, got to work earlier in the year on a new theme song oh. for the Tasmanian oh, yeah. Devils. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've if you've heard about my initiative, but I thought I'd take it upon myself to um, come up with a new tune. Uh, Jason, have we got a little bit of it. I, I'm looking for it as we speak. Have, yeah. they, have they got a song yet, the Tassie Devils? No, Andrew? we've got their. They've got their. They announced the nickname and the colours um, a couple of yeah. weeks back, but I think the songs are work in progress. And uh, okay, no, 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 yeah. no. Songs not work in feedback. progress. The song's done. <laughs> Here it is. Take a listen to this. Time to cheer, scream hooray! The waiting game is over now, cause it's true what they say. The devils are ready to go. Sing it, Andrew. <laughs> Oh. Uh, thoughts? That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I was just trying to visualise them sort of standing around in the circle singing that song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be shirts off and in yeah. their undies, Kyle yeah, Minogue in the style. middle. <laughs> Yeah, and you need one of those um, those fans sort of blowing the hair back or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, that's a hard no for yeah. you. Oh, I think I think it's a work in progress. Oh. <laughs> All right, look, mate, we'll let you go because we know you're a busy man this weekend, but uh, it's so awesome for us yeah. to have the show here in Adelaide and, and gather around. It's an absolute cracker. You guys have nailed it. And congrats. It's awesome. Thanks, Dills. No, thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming over to Adelaide. It's great. Thank you. We Good on it. you, mate. Uh, Andrew Dillon there, the AFL CEO. Do you reckon he's off to try a pie floater now? Probably not. <laughs> probably, Bung Fritz. Probably no. not. I did say to him last night, are you coming in or are you calling? And he goes, well, it depends how big tonight's going to be. No, they were all very well they behaved last night. Well behaved. It was only Clint Stanaway that didn't get the well behaved yes. memo. You know what? You're a character assassinating him this morning. No, yes. I'm not. I'm talking the truth. You're Tony Jones. Yeah. Shot me down. Yeah. Don't turn on me because well. you've had no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Play That's nice, what we children. do in this industry. <laughs> hey, uh, it's around this time that you start planning the end of year holidays, isn't it? Like well, we were looking uh, at like you know, one of so You're different. You're organised. I'm I'm like a week before Carnegie. Yeah, right. We're off I'll... next week and I'm still a bit like, oh, maybe I should book. We started looking at big fours, um, all that y- sort if of If you've got you... kids and you're doing school holidays, though, you need to be organised because that stuff so, like, Doesn't it? gets booked. Yeah, and plus, you know, you might have special events on in December. Mm. I know we've got, a, we've got a weekend that we're busy. Who? Clint and I. Are you guys having a boys' weekend? It, oh. Do you want to... You want to take this one? No, no, no. You don't. What are you two doing? No, don't go throwing me under the bus. <laughs> what are you two doing? So we have a lovely girl that works on our team called the Narc. Jane. Jane. Jane, can you come in? Um, and Loz, you might remember recently uh, Clint and I were around at your place, mm. and Clint mentioned how he has been invited to Narc's wedding. I replied and said, "No way." Lou and I are going as well. Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. Good morning, Jane. Morning, Jane. Thank you. Also, can we not, like, this is highly uncomfortable for me. Please hold that. No, 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 stop. This is the biggest day of my life and you're making it into a radio bit. Because the day hasn't arrived yet. She makes a point. (laughs) I just wanted to bring up the fact that when we spoke about this at your place, Loz, you did say, you guys are joking. I know you're not going to the wedding. I've got my invite. Are you joking right now? You've got yours. Yeah, I've got mine. And you guys felt bad that I wasn't invited. I don't know why you feel bad. I've been invited the whole time. Let me send. Let me see. Here's the, my invite right here. Let me see the date she sent it. Lauren Have and you, Paul, view the card. View the card. Let here me see. There it is. There it is. Oh. Have you checked Jane your, and Darcy's wedding? 
And you What day did she send you that? Licking what a beautiful your No, because I reckon day you've it'll been be. go to your email your lips lips the whole time thinking I wasn't invited because you are mean. You're no, I'm not mean. mean. No, I was gonna I was gonna say do you want to cast my boss? <laughs> You're a mean person, Jace, and I was invited the whole time. <laughs> you get invited to everything. Finally I was invited to something um, you weren't. Jace, yes. can you have you checked your email so because there has been an update? Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's the update? You you tell me. Jane and Darcy wedding. Important update. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Dear Jason Lou, it is with a heavy heart. With what? Send, a heavy heart. A heavy, heavy heart, heart that we send this note. In line with the rising <laughs> cost of living, planning a wedding has also oh, become incredibly yes. expensive. Rising cost of living. So expensive. We have made the difficult decision to scale back our wedding. And unfortunately, yes. this means... We have had to cut our guest list back <laughs> to, to just our close friends and family. Oh, and we can no longer offer you an invitation. But keep reading, keep reading. We hope you understand the decision we've made. If you would like to still kindly contribute to our listening <laughs> well, here is the link. Hey, Clint, quickly check your email. Did you get a new email did from guys, Jane and Darcy? Did you go? No, 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 no update. still invited. No update. Do you want to go um, in on a present? The, yeah, we should get we a should present get a together. Present. Yeah, you that'd be nice. The you can sign the card if you, you want. mean little man. Thought, <sighs> Sorry, buddy. It was a one-in, one-out sort of situation. So she was a late addition. <laughs> <laughs> I've invited Brody, who I've known for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked in. Jokes on you, How big boy. How dare you? <laughs> Can so, I just ask, what is the anxiety around putting a wedding look guest? Look at me shaking. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, it is. And you've turned. It's the worst thing in the world. Well, putting now, it's all, horrible. All the people listening that Jane knows that didn't get invited know they're not invited. Well, <laughs> and you've made sucks it to be you. <laughs> and, and, and you, as it turns out, big boy. <laughs> he wouldn't bring a present anyway. You don't want him at your no, wedding. No, I, I do no, nice wedding fine, presents. Though. Remember Nine Toe Mini? She came and produced on the show for a while and That's she right. said, you still haven't given me a wedding present that you promised. And I've said I'm going to take her out for a lovely meal. She got married four years ago. <laughs> Second wedding. I just want to make sure this one's going to stick before I buy a present. <laughs> um, yeah, was it? Was there any fights when putting together the guests? It list? is hard. Not really. the The hardest part was like there's gateway people. Yeah. So like if you invite one person, oh, then you need to invite up. like oh. four yeah. people. Yeah. See, yeah. here's my rule as well. Say if I invite Clint to my wedding, yep. right, and he's just started dating someone. Yeah. If I don't know the partner. They're not coming. Mm. Yeah, that's I, fair though. I agree. I, as a single person, I get that. Yeah, but I, what about if you've been together for a year with this person? Yeah, and I just haven't had a chance well, to meet them. Oh no, I would always. You need to have couple. met them. See, yeah, I agree. We went down a different path, so we gave people who we knew were coming as single people a plus one. Like, if did that, you? Yeah, if they didn't. Yeah, and you still <laughs> missed out. I know you handed the invite out left, right, and centre. No, and but <laughs> like we've got a few friends who. We, we know them through work or something, yep. and they don't have a partner. And we thought, just, I don't know, like if that was me. A I'd, partner or a friend or, a or, friend, a, or somebody they yeah. know exactly. well. I'd yeah. like to bring along a safety blanket. Right. Yeah. Like I've brought my little mouse into the studio this morning, weirdly. <laughs> little anxiety mouse. Yeah, little anxiety speak. mouse. Well, I'm planning my wedding too, and half, oh, like the things were, oh. Oh, we've oh gone look, quiet look at his face like, going You can't not there. invite the Ooh. MC. That would just be weird. <laughs> but it's hard because, like, growing, grow, we grew up in different states. Like, our lives oh, are very yeah. separate until about three years ago. Oh. And so there's people that I'm, I keep saying it's about our future, not our past, the wedding. Mm. Like, that's, oh, that's our a good rule. Sa- it's about the couples that are, or the people that are going to be in our lives together mm. moving forward. Because look at the back and go, I, I reckon there'd be 30% of the people at our wedding who we're in, not in contact with yeah, anymore. No, that though. always happens. Like, life changes. But the, deciding a guest list is the one it's thing hard. that's bringing us have to you, a screeching um, halt have currently. Have you finalised your bridal party? Am I a bridesman? This is about Jane, not me. A bridesman? No, don't flip this on me. Jane's got her anxiety mouse over there. Ask her more questions about God, the wedding. with me and Clint hey, up there, there's going to be more I blokes know. than women. Jace, God. Yep. will you MC my wedding? Sorry, what? Would you please do me the honour of emceeing my wedding? Oh, I'm going to get emotional. Are you seriously oh asking? God. Clint, we can just nah, sit we've at the got back someone. and <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it would make you uncomfortable. Oh, oh I was God, I needed to borrow the anxiety mouse then. Sit at the back and drink Chardonnays and just heckle Jason. Oh, 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 so he's not the invited. MC job is the worst. You've got to be sober all night. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, 13, 24, 10. <laughs> Let's talk wedding guest lists. Oh, oh the dramas. Anxiety. Have you been left off one? Have you been added to one that you didn't even know the people? Mm. Or did you and your partner have a bust up over the wedding guest list? 
13, 24, 10. Would you like me as your MC? No. <laughs> Don't do that. When you have to invite the extended family that you don't really know. But it's oh. your wedding. No, you mums have and dads to invite don't invite no, like you want. You'll know one day yeah. in many, many, <laughs> many years in the future. All my relatives will be dead. <laughs> we'll be there, though. It'll be fine. We'll be there when you have one of those weddings to yourself. I'll drink enough for all of them. Great. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like I remember even my parents were like, well, you know, you've got to have uncle... Trevor and um, Trevor's kids. And I'm like, oh, I saw them when I was two. No, Trevor. Yeah, nah. Trevor's, Trevor's mate, off the list. Nah, sorry. I think weddings, though, are getting smaller. They used to, they went through a stage where they were heckers. Like, people had every man and his dog there. And I feel like now people are doing smaller, more yeah, they boutique are. weddings. Yeah. I think 80 is a nice number. And I, I mean, it's an arbitrary figure, but sure. <laughs> Why 80? You know what I don't 100? like? People that have almost more people up on the bloody stage with them. Oh, oh the no, I love party. that. Oh, no. You need I... to rein it in with the bridal parties. Well, everyone's Clint's best friend, so he'll just tell everyone to wear the same outfit. How many do you have in your BP? Uh, First time around. That worked well. <laughs> <laughs> One too many. <laughs> I'm still friends. I had, we had, I think ten, and I'm still including us, and I'm still friends with nine of them. <laughs> Sorry, I agree Sorry, with you. It I was, it was one too many, Clint. Oh, actually, you live and learn. Oh, oh yeah, I learned weddings. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely one too many. 13, 24, <laughs> wheels are off. is our number. We're talking wedding oh, invites this morning. Yeah, they're tricky. And and I, I know someone that was asked, um, he, it also depends what level of friendship you think you have. My friend was asked to be a groomsman in a wedding and he was also getting married at the same time and he hadn't even invited that person to oh. his wedding. And he was like, oh my gosh. You and know he, what? Bridal party? It's a lot of work. You reckon? Oh, you've got to get the suits and... Well, the best man does. You well, have to get a suit regardless the, of if you're in the bridal party. What does the man? matron of honour do? Um, Organises the penis drawers. You're just and, oh, like a little extra. Hands, yeah. You're just a bit bossy. Holds the train. The yeah, oh, the train. The train. Oh, yeah. I'll tell I was you one chief job. fluffer at someone's wedding. One really? job I When refused. the bride came out, I had to fluff the dress. Oh. If you offer me a spot as an usher, I'm out. <laughs> what, handing out the rose petals? Yeah. And the books. And the I books. reckon you would yeah. have been asked to be Bride or groom. usher many times. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't the ring boy. Kieran on 132410, <laughs> wedding invites. What's your story? G'day, guys. Great to hear you back on the airway. Makes me morning. Oh, good on you, mate. Welcome Thank back. You. Thanks, brother. Well, I didn't even make it to the uh, the wedding, actually. I uh, I made it to the uh, the Bucks. I got invited to the Bucks. Um, oh, no. And yeah, I got snubbed. Yeah, didn't get an invite to the wedding. So I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but that was. Uh, oh, yeah, that was, to be that fair. Was I've heard of this. It happens all the time. People are starting to do smaller weddings and huge hens and bucks parties, but then the people who have gone to the bucks don't score an invite for dinner oh, and the ceremony. Really? You know what? I did? This was not good, and I, I regret it, but I'd have big nights out in the lead up to the wedding, and after a few, I'd just invite people to be part of the bridal party. Oh, you would do that. Your wife must have been How furious. How close to the wedding? Oh, uh, like a few months out. But surely those people realise that you didn't mean it. No, on, at the time they thought. How many groomsmen did you have? Uh, ended up having three. I actually invited eight. And <laughs> and five said no. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm busy. Five said. What happened to the other five? They asked to be the usher. It was quite weird. Any, any anything to get out five of the front. A lot of aisles. <laughs> Did five actually say no? No. no. I was only supposed to, church. No, I was <laughs> supposed to invite three. But I'd, you... I'd get on the lemonades and, and I so invited And so did you have eight. to uninvite them? I, 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 no, they still came to the wedding. They just didn't get to sit up on the... They didn't get the free suit? No, they didn't get the free suit. Were they filthy about it? Uh, yeah, touch and go. Okay. Yeah. Didn't one of your groomsmen not turn up to your wedding? No, no Kyle. I didn't yeah. rock up to him to see it. <laughs> yeah. Don't go there. All right, it is just gone. <laughs> Add it to the list. Yeah. <laughs> you said yesterday you'd eat Jackie over breakfast. We don't need to pick another fight today. Jason Lawrence. Jason Lawrence's $5,000 question. Can I ask you a question? Come on, Melbourne. Here we go for a Friday. Got to be nice to offload 5000 bucks this morning. It has just gone seven past eight. You're on the air with Jason Lauren. Clint's here as well, and let's go to the phones, guys. Let's do it. Let's see if we can give away $5,000 this morning. Jace, who you got there? Andrea, good morning. Oh, my God, 
<laughs> oh, we got a screamer. Oh, my gosh. We got a screamer. Andrea, you're pumped. I'm, I'm actually more excited to be able to be on the phone to Jay. I am. Oh. Oh, we'll just see ourselves out, oh, Andrea. Hang on. You got a little, you got a little crush oh, on Jace, too. Oh, my don't. God. Jace has a fan. A fan. A fan. I am the biggest and what do you, fan. What do you love about oh, Jace, Andrea? Can we not Andrea? do yeah, let's yeah, do, no, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you love about Jace? What is about it about Jace? him? I've been such a larrikin. listening to Jace for years. I was actually, oh. uh, used to be a night shift nurse and oh. um, working in ED. And for three months, for, for, for just night shift for COVID and Listening to Jace on the drive home would help me one stay awake mm. and two get me through my drive home after a long night shift. So You've been Jace, sampling oh, some of the products sweet. on I've, night shift. <laughs> I thought she was going to say she met you in the emergency department no. during night shift. Yeah, I was there for in. the green whistle. Hey, that is very sweet, Andrea. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Oh, this is awkward now. Oh, it's um, awkward. Okay. Should right. we just let them ch- yeah. chat amongst no, themselves? No, no. Let's stay out of it, like, Clint. Over just... to Andrea and Chase. Andrea, um, oh, should we just give her the money? Um, what would you like to go for this morning? So how this works is we can give you an easy question for 50. Oh, my gosh. She's blushing. We can give you a medium question for 500. Can we? Can or we? a restraining. I mean, a, fa- a hard <laughs> question for $5,000. What would you like 5, to go? 5000 Yes, We're going queen. the 5,000. Oh, my gosh. I want to give it away so bad. All right. All right. Andrea, here's how it works. I'll ask the question because I don't want you to get flustered hearing more words come out of Jason's mouth. Can you not? You're going to get a – I'm going to ask the question. You'll hear a three, two, one countdown. You have to answer within that time, and the $5,000 will be yours if your answer is correct. Now, Andrea, yeah. the worst thing you can do is not throw an answer out. It's three okay. seconds. It goes really fast. Just give yourself a beat and then just first thing that comes to mind, okay? Thank you, Dave. All right, here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> Shut up, Clinch. So, I'm loving it. She's so enamored. Don't stop. It's so weird. Leave her alone. It's very weird, You leave though. her alone. It's very weird. Can you okay. stop talking about her? She's about, she's about to play for fun. Okay, okay, sorry. Here we go, Andrea. We go. Come on. Come on, Andrea. Andrea. Come on. Jace is one fan. Shut up and ask the question. <laughs> for $5,000. Who... Lit the Olympic cauldron at the Sydney Olympics in the year 2000. Three, two, Kylie Minogue. One. <laughs> I mean, no, she would have no. been great. She that. would have it been was... great. But they had it. Oh, it was that, Kathy it was... Freeman. They should have got Kylie. Well, there was a Kylie who competed in the 200. She meter. could have done no, like, no, it. Was she could have at done least like, she didn't say Nikki Webster. She yeah. could have had the torch and be like, um, spinning. I'm again. so sorry. It was I'm a guess. So sorry. Oh, it was Kathy Freeman. I for sure thought you were going to get yeah. that. You know what? You're not going away empty handed. Oh, are you flirting with your one fan? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. What, what do you got for her, big boy? I'm going to hook you hook Oh, you up whoa, 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 hey, Okay. You are married. Are you guys done? What are you hooking up with? Andrea, <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> oh, what is, is he going to give her? The wine package? Oh, no. How about, a, bu- on. How about a bunch of flowers? Give your girlfriend a treat. Andrea, are you still there? I'm here. I'm night here. Night away? <laughs> no, night away is moving a bit fast. I'm going to give you a night of luxury under oh. the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Did she get a plus one? With the Amy Goldgrass at Moonlight Cinema. Ooh. Brought to you oh. by Energizer. You can lay there under the stars and watch a movie. Andrea, what's your favourite movie? Okay, Clint. Dancing with the Andrew. Stars. Oh. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. She's flustered. She's Eleven past eight on Nova. <laughs> Big night last night, Powerball. Uh, How much? 30 mil. 30 mil. Did one person win it? What would you do with that? First thing. Never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe to gloat. Maybe to gloat first thing in the morning and then later. I would see sleep ya. in, not be doing this. I wouldn't want to tell so anyone. 30 mil, I would, what, you'd come to work every day? Well, it'd it'd take like, a week sick, wouldn't you? Yeah, every now. Like, I enjoy coming to work now. Um, That's because probably... you don't have 30 mil in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get away from those children as well. I'd probably roll in like. You know, dressed like bloody Snoop Dogg, and you'd be like, "Do you win Lotto?" No, you'd not be at all. Dressed like Hudson, your son, who yeah. wears a gold chain. Um, we had friends of ours, uh, Emma and Jess, lovely couple, and they had an incident recently. Um, I think it was Jess's mum or Em's mum. One of them, the mums play the Lotto app, 
Like What's the re- Lotto app? So like oh you the da- lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You download the app and and they play like online. Like you buy tickets rather than going app. into the news agent yeah. line because you know those days when they do like five hundred mil and the oh, lineups. Hey. I quite like the paper ticket. You would. <laughs> yeah. God, I get old. flustered. I, I wouldn't know what, what to ask for because there's Oz Lotto, Powerball, Tats Lotto, quick Wednesday pick. Lotto. It's quick very pick. overwhelming. Do you know what? I oh, get the printout, the, the, the multi orange. quick pick stick. And like, then what I put, about the one I, I put it on the, the fridge. Oh, God. oh my God, you are a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. You're an old person. You are. You're dust. Um, anyway, uh, the other night she was asking them to read out the numbers. You know how they put it up on the TV? Oh, my nan used to buy the paper ticket and they'd come up on the TV and we'd circle them all. Yes, like, yeah, we like, used to yeah, do yeah, That's yeah. exactly what they were doing. However, they were watching a replay oh, no. of the lotto numbers, right? Yeah. Oh, as Jez is no. going through... Shh, I know where this is. What happened? As he's reading oh. out the numbers on the TV... He's like 24. She's like 24. Are people actually sitting down? Oh, it's 6.55. It's the lotto draw sitting down and writing down the numbers. Yes. Some people still Where do, do that. Where they air it? On a commercial network, Yeah, they, they still do. And then they go to those three weird little yeah. judges. Oh, my God, the that. adjudicators. <laughs> yes. So they are the adjudicators. Yeah, the independent adjudicators. So oh, adjudicator. Yes. Jess and my mate's panel. going through reading out the numbers, right? The mum's like, yep, 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 yep. If you say 16 next, we've won $200 million. He looks at the TV. I thought it was 30. You said, no, 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 no. This is like, oh. this was over Christmas. He said 16. No. They have burst into tears. Like they legitimately thought she had won. <clears throat> she wasn't reading out her numbers on the lot app. She was reading out the results. She was looking at the same numbers he was. Not her actual ticket on the lot app. Oh, that's so flattening. Like Imagine just, the fall. He said, mate, for, for about four <laughs> or five minutes. They thought they'd won 200. Like, that's a long time. Like they got said, the supplementaries. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the supplementaries. They're hard to get those sups. The sups. Oh, that's real lotto chat. Do you want a rock bottom subs? moment? There you go. Talk to me. <laughs> I went to buy an old lotto machine off eBay. Why? You, can, just... <laughs> you know you can't what, win. What, the balls? The balls. Are you going to have adjudicators in your living room <laughs> yes. on a Thursday night? <laughs> yeah, you can actually, they're on eBay. You can buy them. We should buy one. Yes. Oh, why not? Imagine that. Oh, Let's well, do it. Go, check eBay now. Let me see Let's how much buy a lotto is. machine. I um, I celebrated. Um, I remember I went to the Richmond Grand Final, and I, d- I don't really know how to do betting and things like that. And everyone was putting bets on the footy and first yeah. goal and this and that. And I was like, I'm just going to put some 100 bucks on Richmond to win the Grand Final. Anyway. As they won, I was like, oh, I won the bet. And I thought, we were celebrating because I thought I'd won $1,200 because I got them at 12 to 1. And my whole family was celebrating. They're like, how did you get odds of 12 to 1 on the grand final day? We all celebrated. And then in the morning, I realized I'd bet on Richmond to win the grand final next year. Next year. (laughs) Shame. That's an investment in the future. Shame. They didn't win the next year. No, thanks for that, Dusty. (laughs) You owe me twelve hundred bucks, bruh. It is a ju- <laughs> Scott twenty six tonight. <laughs> what a night for game one of Gather Round. Road trip this has been for the Melbourne Football Club. A superb week's worth of work. That's right. It's a grand the mighty old Melbourne play. D's got up last night. And joining us here. from inside Ooh, the Melbourne the Demons. Sanctum. Yes, the place we couldn't get into last night. Is we your, get all the big stars. Your dad, John Stanaway. <laughs> G'day, Johnny. Morning, Jono. Morning, gang. How are you? Well, well we're, we're a better bit than disappointed. your son. We're well, a bit disappointed. What do, you think of, what do you think of Beyonce's new album, Dad? <laughs> Look, it's, it's not bad, actually. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I can't remember Thanks, the Molly. songs, but it's pretty good. <laughs> gotcha. Um, yeah, we're a bit disappointed in, in Clinty. Did you hear what happened last night, Jono? Well, look, I got a phone call about one, um, and I was a bit surprised because I thought, <laughs> being a professional as he is, he would have been in bed, but uh, obviously no. not. But no, did I didn't you hear. Did you call your dad at, at 1 a.m.? Why did I call you at 1? Well, you called me and I called you back because I thought, oh, he's done something stupid. But, you know, that's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm talking much earlier doors than 1am. Yes. He talked a big game, Jono. Uh, Clint likes to walk around like Mr. Melbourne. He, he yeah. has plans to be the number one ticket holder one day. And he said, he if might the be D's the win. Well, oh. not after this effort. He not said, off. if the D's win, I am taking you to the rooms. I said, I'm not going anywhere near a footy club change room. And he said, we are a team well, Jace and we're going it. together. Well, I was going to come down and give some feedback. Jace was so yeah, excited good. because he was with the big dog, Clint Stanaway. Yep. Got there. Mm. They d- didn't let him in. Turned away. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> let him, him in. Oh, I, can't, 
I can't believe it. Do you I know why? Because you. you didn't give me those wristbands, Dad. Well, they're it's very hard fault. to get, and they're only for special people, unfortunately. So, okay. look, you know, one day you'll be right. In Melbourne, it didn't look that in, hard usually. to get in. There are about 50,000 yeah. people John, lining up with like wristbands on. on. Everyone John, except for Clint. John, can you just uh, <laughs> can you level with me as a dad? From from a, one dad to another, I'm looking at oh, your situation, and I'm just like, <laughs> he's a mess, John. What, like, what are you <laughs> How do you salvage something yeah. from this wreck? What, what do you do? Like, what, like you yeah. know, he's oh, imploding. Look, it, it, it's, it's been years of the same, though, so you get used to it. You just sort of think, oh, yeah, look, it doesn't matter. It's just another, another night, another day, you know. It uh, doesn't really matter. God, hey, they must love you your sisters more. <laughs> I can't believe he gets up every day. I couldn't do it. I'd be good. No good. No. Absolutely no, no good. Do you know what? Do you know what time he got home, John Stanaway? No, we don't need. Yes, to tell your tell, tell your father well, what time you got. I, home. I got mind. home at two a.m. on a scooter. <laughs> on a scooter, wearing a well, helmet. How, oh, you didn't have your helmet on. That's silly. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he did. Hey, he Dad. Does, yeah. Dad. Um, how how was the uh, mood in the rooms after the uh, win last night? Two wins uh, on the yeah, road no, here in Adelaide. No. no, well, it's nice to come over to Adelaide and and have one win, but two wins is great. Yeah, it's um. It's very nice. It's always nice. You know, it's like it's always nice to win, but uh, winning over here is difficult usually. And um, Jeez, he you know, like having two, it's uh, you know, it's, it's very nice. But I must say that the Adelaide supporters are a little bit nicer than the Port supporters. The Port supporters are a yeah, bit oh yeah. We heard you. On. We heard you Not copter. That's right. ridiculous. Um, yeah. Hey, they uh, spit like they spit like camels. Um, <laughs> Lars John like was what? on our flight. <laughs> They spit like camels or llamas. The port. Oh, oh, they'll get you. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, it's very true. John was on now. Uh, John was on our Carlton flight yesterday. Oh, yes. mm. How well, did you like right, being right, in the right. audience for Sale of the Century yesterday? On the, on the <laughs> well, flight? Uh, the, the bloke that won the tickets was just behind me, and I was thinking I might have a chance here, but no, there's no chance I was going to win them. <laughs> what so, about the John, Carlton, there, the Carlton I'm... girl, the mascot? It was. Yeah, so I wasn't on the plane. Was was the room, room, is it? I what wasn't was on the plane, but the boys told me there was a Carlton mascot floating yeah. up and down. Navy the Nina, who is her name? Yeah. Navy Nina. Yeah, well, she, I think she fancied Jace, actually, because uh, I saw oh. a photo of the, the mascot and Jace sitting there. I thought, oh, it's. Yeah, you I, get a honestly, number? I woke up and thought I was at movie world. <laughs> Why is Poison Ivy next to me? Although I did not understand Poison this lady in life. Is she a member of the cheer squad? I think she might I, have been, yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so. But they, they do have a couple of mascots before the game, but I don't really know. But she was oh. done up on the flight, and I thought, mm, interesting. Mm. interesting. And just finally, before we let you go. Dad, um, you know you're on the radio, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, final, final oh, thing before we let you go. Um, do you want to tell Lauren about your son when he got into the Virgin Lounge yesterday through his toys? He wasn't happy with the food I, choices. What happened? Oh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. You know, I thought the Virgin, you know, I'd only go Virgin because it's uh, free tickets with the footy club, but yeah, the Virgin Lounge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Virgin for life. quite nice yeah. and they've got all the food. And he spat the dummy, didn't think it was as good as, as the other mob. Couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, he's... He's kangaroo. a real Qantas yeah. snob, isn't yeah. he? So there's no toasty oh, bar. No. Where's the toasted sandwich bar? Oh, seriously, you know it's a you know it's a complimentary little you know snack before the <clears throat> before the. What have you bought up? Do you think Clint's forgotten I where he came from, Jono? <laughs> oh, I think I'm we should sure keep talking to Jono. Yeah, I'm sure. He you has. reckon he's forgotten so. where he came from? Think, oh, yeah, all right. Well, listen. Hey, um, safe flight home, Jono. Dad. Pass yeah. out. But are you on the same flight as us today, no. Jono? Oh, as oh, you guys. Mine yeah. 210 or something. It's fun. Mine's 210 oh. or something like that, I think. Well, yeah. good luck them drawing your seat number out and winning tickets on the flight. Um, <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, pass our best on to um, Track and the boys. Track and an absolute right. blinder last night, mate. Yeah, no, he was pretty good, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah he not bad. I'll keep him for another week. Yeah, yeah All right. exactly. John Stanaway, right. Clint's dad, yeah, joining yeah. us on the SA. Jono. Thanks, Jono. Bye. He's, He's embarrassed by Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, nah, <laughs> do, you think he's a, do you think you embarrass him? I think so, yeah. Do you think he's just I'm the least to... favourite of the four. What are you doing calling him at one o'clock in the morning? I have no idea. You're a mess, mate. Can you I think I wanted me... him to come out and have a drink with me. Oh, my. That was, a, that was a lovely invitation. Can you hand me your phone? I want to see who else you call. You me can't get three on the scooter. That's crazy. Especially not Dad. That's Pitbull and Neo there with Give Me Everything. It's Jason Lauren on Nova 100 coming to you live from Adelaide. This morning. Bruh. Yeah. Guys. Not bad. Panicked. I love Pitbull so Not much. Did the heart so race. What do I do now? Just sit here and watch Instagram? Yeah, we're swapping jobs for right. the last segment of the morning. Um, <laughs> the last 30 seconds. <laughs> the last 30 seconds of this show. I think we should wind this up, guys. It's been fun. Um, no, hey, uh, we have had a great time in Adelaide. Shout out to everyone in South Australia. Yeah, for the 
SA well, Tourism Commission. You, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> are going to be very jealous of what they have here at Nova in Adelaide. Pie floater. Nope. Nice people. Bung fritz. They're nope. lovely here. I just walked over to the studio next door where the breakfast show is currently broadcasting. Yes. Have you seen what they have outside their studio? No, should I go yeah, look yeah, and go, run go back? Go okay, on, please hold. Hold. I'm not running, by the way. I'm exhausted. I'll be right, walking well, at a fast speak pace. to her in 20. Please hold. Um, hey, well, she does that. I strongly advise you to plan your trip to South Australia. Great little spot for school holidays as well. You can start planning your SA road trip at southaustralia.com slash road trips is the place to go. What do you, what, I don't. No, oh, there's nothing there. I just want to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. What is it? Okay, there's many things. There's one thing that each of us would like. There's okay. three things that I... Oh, yeah, what'd you say? Full-length mirror. Clint would love that. Yes. Yep. Bowl of Check. biscuits. Jace would love that. And a, rec- a lazy boy recliner sofa. A lazy boy. And guess what? A massage chair. Is that what we're getting? They're electric. Oh, oh, give me a hurt on that. So just a peek behind the oh. curtains. When we started here at Nova, um, when they rescued us, uh, they said, now, nah, where would you like your desk in the office? And I said, I don't want a desk. <laughs> what am I going to do at a desk? Mm. And they I said, want. work. And I was like, oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 So I said, I want a, a recl- lazy boy. Recliner. Yeah. yeah. With a drinks cup. Did you see uh, what's next cup? to the recliner? You yeah, didn't but- see the best bit. Oh, I thought that was. Have it. a look what's going on. No, no, no. Oh. Trust me. You will. That's why when you came back, I couldn't what believe you, you weren't excited. The full length mirror. No, have a look what's the on bowl the bowl of biscuits. No, have it. You'll know when you see the it. The cactus in what, the donkey what is <laughs> thing. In a donkey pot. Have a look is what is it? Have a, have a look what's on the right of the couch. The full length mirror. No, you, will, you won't. Okay, listen. please hold on. Okay. <laughs> please hold. On the right of the couch. What? I can't believe oh, you. Sorry. Are we still on air? <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> this has been one of the strangest mornings of my life. <laughs> when she goes back. <laughs> okay. okay, no, no, no. I meant the left side. It's going to be a good day. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good. On Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.